The mystery continues for yet another day. Despite Malaysia declaring all 239 on flight 370 dead, no one has found the missing plane or even pieces of it. Ebru's Kyle Schmoyer joins us live now from the nation's capital with the very latest on the investigation. Kyle. Well, Logan, some of the biggest developments to date. First, we learn about this final partial ping from the plane to a satellite. It happened on the morning of March 8th when the plane did disappear sometime between 8-11 and 9-15. We don't know, though, what was happening at that time of that final partial ping. We also today got satellite images basically showing what may be a debris field. And as some investigators say, it is the most credible lead to this point. Others say it's a game changer. These satellite images provided by the French were taken on Sunday. Malaysian officials say they show 122 potential objects, possible debris in the southern Indian Ocean. The pieces range in size from 3 to 75 feet, and some are pretty bright, which possibly indicates solid materials. But Wednesday's search turned up nothing. Twelve aircraft canvassed an area nearly 50,000 square miles in the Indian Ocean about 1,600 nautical miles southwest of Perth, Australia. We investigated a couple of visual contacts, but actually turned out to just be uh, marine mammal activity. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, yeah, didn't find anything uh, further uh, to a report today. Many sets of eyes trained on the water looking for clues. Four Chinese ships reached the search area today. The Chinese also added air assets to the ones already provided by Australia, New Zealand, the U.S., and now South Korea, too. Yet aviation and search experts caution the debris out there may not be from the missing Malaysian Airlines plane. There's tons of junk floating around in the ocean. And so distinguishing whether this junk is the same as the wreckage that we're interested in, that's going to take some time. But time isn't on the searcher's side. The plane's black box data recorder and cockpit voice recorder need to be found, most likely in the next 10 days or so. It's sending out a radio signal, which is going nowhere because it's underwater, and it's also sending out a ping, an audible ping, and that's how we pick things up in the ocean, in the water. Um, when that battery goes out, those pings will go away. The U.S. Navy has already sent sophisticated equipment called a towed ping locator to Australia to be used once a debris field is established. Crews may also employ unmanned underwater vehicles like this to try and locate the boxes, because without them, the mystery of Flight 370 continues. If you can recover a few pieces of airplane, um, you can do some forensics on the, the material. Was it burned or did it just come apart? You know, those kinds of things you can tell from examining bits and pieces of the wreckage. Uh, but for the, the real detailed understanding of, of the sequence of events that led to the loss of the airplane, you got to have those data recorders. And without them, is going to be just a lot of guesswork. And here's the very latest as of this evening right now, about a half hour or so ago, 6 a.m. Australian time. Planes started back out to that search area. It's expected today, which is Thursday already in Australia, that 11 aircraft, five ships will be involved in the search area there of the southern Indian Ocean. Back here in the United States, learned today that NASA is using one of the most powerful satellites now positioned over that part of the world to try to see what it can see from that satellite. The FBI continues to investigate. They confirmed both the hard drives from the uh, pilot and the co-pilot of that missing plane. And just late today, a report out by USA Today say officials in Malaysia are now saying that they are centering in on the pilot of that plane for deliberately diverting the flight path. Ebru News has not been able to confirm that independently. We're going to continue on this and bring you the very latest here tomorrow. Logan? Ebru's Kyle Schmoyer reporting live tonight with the latest developments on the missing Flight 370. Thank you so much for that report.